Hi, this is Vince with Discount Inboard Marine. Today we're going to pull the prop off of our Nautique 210 and uh, show you how to use an Acme prop puller. And all you need for tools is a pair of needle nose pliers, three quarter inch wrench, an inch and a quarter wrench, and I like my two pound hammer. And sometimes you need a block of wood, sometimes you don't, but as we're pulling the prop we'll show how that works. So we'll go underneath the boat and start. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is straighten out this cotter pin and slide it out. Okay, next we're going to take the nut off. This is a castle nut. We're going to try and take it off first. You can see it's real loose, so we don't need our block of wood. The block of wood would be used to put between the blade of the prop and the hull in case it was real hard to get off. This one's real easy to get off. If you over tighten these pullers, you can damage the threads and then they'll lock up and they need to be replaced at that point. So we're just going to snug this up. Not real tight. And then we'll take our two pound hammer, see if we can get it off. You want to hit the prop puller, not the prop. Okay, we've got our prop puller snugged up. I left the prop nut on because sometimes these props will pop off with some pretty good force and you don't want to damage the rudder or do more damage to the prop uh, if it's already damaged than what's on it. So now we're ready to go ahead. We're going to strike the prop puller and see if we can get it off. Okay, you can see this one's pretty stubborn, so sometimes you really got to hit it hard, and we'll work on that right now. Action. Okay, we're going to tighten this up a little bit more. It did move, so we're going to tighten up the puller a little more. We'll give her a couple more hits with the hammer. There it is. And now it's loose, and we can take the prop nut off, and she'll slide right off. You can order this prop puller online at skidim.com. Okay, we got our nut off. We're going to slide the prop off. And there is a keyway right here, and that keeps the prop from just spinning on the shaft. And that's how you get them off. And then we'll cover how to put them on in just a minute. Okay, we've got our prop off. This is a good time to take a look at our strut bushings and make sure that they're not worn, like worn real bad on one side and not the other. Uh, these are worn nice and even all the way around, which tells me the engine alignment is good. I can also grab this prop with one hand and actually turn it. So you can see it turns pretty easy even without the prop on. So we're going to put the prop back on, put our keyway back in, and the Nautique keyways have a little notch in them so they get positioned. That notch will keep the prop from pushing the keyway up when you slide the prop back on. You always want to make sure that keyway stays pretty much even with where the threads start if you don't have the little notch to stop it. So we'll go ahead and put it back on. Double check, make sure our keyway didn't creep up on us. And then we'll go ahead and put the prop nut back on. So you aligned it with the keyway? Yeah. And we'll get our wrench in our little block of wood and make sure that prop nut is good and snug against the prop. Okay, we've got our little block of wood between the blade and the hull. And you want to be careful not to tighten too much because you don't want to bend the prop. And we'll go ahead and tighten up this prop nut. The hole for the cotter pin is just starting to show up on this slot right here. And that's about as tight as we're going to get it. And we'll take our block of wood out and put our cotter pin back in and we're back in business. Thank you for watching our video. One reminder, make sure that that cotter pin is in good condition. 
You might even want to use a new one. Uh, if you lose the cotter pin, you can lose your prop. So that's a real important part, making sure that's secure and installed properly. Again, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, call us at 803-345-0996 or you can get customer help on skidim.com. Thank you.